Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny's Used Cars. Today I'm showing this 2012 Toyota Spade that just came in. It's got almost 106,000 kilometers on it, which is 65,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Uh, even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits to doing it that way, so stop on by. With that, let's go ahead and take a look around. We'll show the features inside, but first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. So things like the uh, road tax, the JCI, the financing, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end, you have all the answers. If not, uh, please contact me or stop on by. This Toyota Spade is a five passenger vehicle in the 500 series category. So the mid-size category, road tax per year is gonna be 7,500 yen, which is about $40 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So we'll take care of it for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next April, May. Now you do have two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars uh, cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put some down, reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Totally up to you. Before I go inside, it was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it can give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. Okay? Let me jump inside. Like I said, it's just coming in, so it could be a little dirty. Just get that thing started. Now I'm going to excuse myself. I'm going to put this seat back where it should be. I can show you better. Okay. All right. Very, very sorry about that. Let me, uh, where's that? Turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. All right. Come on. 105,837 on the Odun. Why isn't that focusing? There you go. 105, 8, 837 on the odometer. Showed you a couple of warning lights there. Uh, that one, uh, the green one, is your new temperature gauge. It's going to be light green. <laughs> well, it's going to be light green when the engine's cool. It'll go away like it just did when it warms up, and it'll be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. Then you do have your uh, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And then that circular one is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar. But it's a kick tight. So when you kick it, disengage it, goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And that's located on the left side of the regular brake pad. Other than that, it's a very simple, straightforward instrument cluster. However, it's off to the left, okay? Uh, anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. It goes in front, you do have this little compartment here. I, I'm assuming this is a, it could be used for a cup holder, okay? Uh, you do have your radio over here. This one, let me see, let me see. This one does not have a rear camera. Then you have your shifter, air conditioning controls, power outlet, uh, there's a cup holders, and then no storage underneath there. Now this one's got kind of different, it, it just has this big gaping hole here, it doesn't have your regular uh, glove box, it does have this one on top, okay, so whatever you want to use that for. And then it does have one cup holder, as I'm stretching to show you that, over there on the left side of the dash. Um, you do have a little, uh, or you do have a an additional cup holder on this uh, door panel there, and then also a little bit of storage and cup holder on the door panel on your driver's side. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red rope flare hanging out. Then this is the uh, leg room that I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm pretty comfortable right where I am. Okay, uh, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. Okay, now normally is the time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. But because it just, uh, all these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on every single car. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the uh, office until they've been detailed. Once it's been detailed, it's gonna go up here on the sun visor on the driver's side, okay? Now something bad over here that I would like to show you. Oops, let me, sorry, I'm gonna have to do this to switch hand. So this is the leg room, which could turn into this much. Look at that. Okay, so it's on a rail system, and what I just took out was a bar that goes into the back uh, rail, so you're not going to break somebody's knees in the back, okay? So I'm just going to leave that there, and then I'll go to the back, and I'll show you that in a second, all right? So off to the right here on this right side of the dash, you do have your mirror controls. This does have a power, power door, so you can turn, can turn that off if you want to. It does also have idle off uh, switch. Idle off is... is 
I'm not a big fan of it because when uh, the engine turns off when you're at a stop sign or a stop light uh, or more importantly a stop light for two minutes all you're doing is recirculating the air that's already here you're not getting any fresh cold air from the air conditioning system okay uh, so I if you're very uh, self-conscious about saving gas and use it but you're gonna get warm in the summertime okay uh, this one right here everybody was asking me about this this is to angle your headlights differently so maybe it's a foggy morning uh, you want to see the road a little better that's where you're gonna do it from and then this guy right here is your electronic toll collector this works like easy pass in the states if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway and then down here you do have your gas cover um, gas cover your hood release and don't forget about your gas cover down here on the floor okay and then on the door panel you do have your door lock and uh, window controls all right so I'm gonna turn this off and then it does have a button right here on the dash that you could open up the sliding door. You could use the um, the handle, and then it does have. Hopefully, you can see that I'm pointing to the right. It has that button up here on the column. All right. Now this one, it resembles the Toyota Porte, but the Porte does not have this uh, uh, this door on this side. It's only a two door. That's why they came out with the Spade. They made it a three door. Okay. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down. Look at how much room I I, I have. Okay, this is about six inches, six, seven inches. I guess that's about seven inches. Away from the back of the seat. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat and nothing on the back of the passenger seat because this does uh, lay down uh, flat when you need extra space. Then it does have a cup holder and a little bit of storage. And somebody said that's your, like, your um, uh, umbrella, which it says right there. Actually, it says don't put your umbrella. Oh, don't leave it. Don't lean it forward. Lean it back. Okay. And then you do have a little bit of storage on the door panel here. And then no center console or anything like that. So this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to go on the passenger side as well. Okay, so here's your space back here. It's like a deep pocket uh, trunk. Uh, this seat can uh, fold down by pulling up those two levers and then it'll go down. But you will have the hump right here, okay? And then again, all you have to do is pull this uh, handle and then this one's going to go all the way back. Okay, and then look how much space there is. So I'm going to show you. Again, I'm 5'11". I'm not even touching that. All right, my legs are fully extended. All right, so very. There's a huge amount of space in these. Uh, really good for the uh, smaller families. All right. So I just wanted to show you that. All right. Now we'll go to the engine compartment. Then we're going to wrap this video up. Did I pop the engine? Yes, I did. All right, here you have it. This is a 1.3 liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. So there you go, uh, 2012 Toyota Spade, almost, uh, approaching 106,000 kilometers with 65,000 miles. Military price goes down to 5,200 with an additional military discount. Oh, I'm sorry, military price goes down to 5,400 with an additional military discount will go down to 5,200. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and we will get you a lower price on this. But for now, the 5,200 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2022 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. All the thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full cut which is totally up to you and we can assist you with that here uh, talking about these warranties out here yes there are two-year warranties out here however they're not the best thing since sliced bread so stop and buy we'll explain why don't be fooled by them all right uh, but we do encourage you to shop around go to the dealer see what they have uh, but definitely stop by Johnny's used cars let us show what we have what our program's all about and how we can assist you we are definitely making a difference out here because we are different stop by buy we'll show you why like we have many many others so uh, two things, uh, two ways to pay for it. Please don't forget. Uh, first one being U.S. dollars cash outright, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.